Hello and welcome back to Mars. I'm Mick. We're playing Stationeers. And now, last time we brought our Sterling engine inside. It is generating five and a half kilowatt, four, uh, whatever that was. Six and a half, not five and a half. They're different numbers. Make sure you don't mess them up. Uh, we brought that inside. That is 7.3. Why am I only generating 6.2? 4. Whatever it was. Random numbers. Yay. Um, now it's 7. Right. Okay. Well, it's doing stuff. And it's making power. Uh, now we're good. So we're now... We're we're currently running at 6.4 uh, megapascals in there, so that's a long way. Oh, full power. It is a long way from getting our um, our explodiness happening again. Uh, now, in our room there, we did have a few suggestions on ways to improve it all. I do still have that weird noise coming from over there somewhere. Uh, but in the room, it's the pipe. In the pipe. It is 180 degrees in that little room there, 115 kilopascals. So if we can lower the temperature in there, we should be able to get more power. Well, not more than 8 kilowatts because that's the maximum. But during the day when we're not getting 8 kilowatts, uh, we could get more power. Um, there are a couple of ways we could do that there. We can improve the ventilation at the back. I could um improve the pressure in here i can put a, uh, the uh other armored windows around the around the box there and raise the pressure in there that would allow me to increase the throughput of uh, power in there uh or we could just change our ventilation up at the back well last time we were having trouble with the plants as well they weren't growing that well i was pointed out but that's because it was um rather hot in the room that's gotten over it. It's coming back good again. Uh, it's because it was uh, 35 degrees in the room. I didn't notice that. But, uh... Why do you not have power? You... Um, I can't be out of water. Uh, I've got plenty of water. Why? Um, okay. Uh, what the hell? Why? Definitely water in there. Oh, there's pollutants or something in there, is there? I was carbon dioxide. Carbon. Liquid carbon dioxide. That should be giving me a blue light on my water. And it is. Okay, so that. I thought it was only pollutants that wouldn't let you fill up the uh, bottles when that was there, but it uh, looks like carbon dioxide is the same as well. But that should uh, pop out of that pretty quickly. Uh, Alright, well, I can't have a drink. As long as not bothering the plants, that's the, uh, that's the main thing. They're thriving. It's just in darkness. Well, I can live with that. Well, as long as I can live with it, I guess that's the main thing. Ah, uh, right, where are we? You are almost out of volatiles. Awesome. Oh, you're out of... No, you've still got eight. That's an eight, not a zero. Um, right, yeah, so when this thing... My thingy out here... That one is still warming up during the day. So because that is warming up during the day, my cooling is not working as well during the day when it can. 
Um, so it's getting warmer in here. So 29 degrees. Yeah. Well, I thought my room monitor should have told me if it was getting hot. Um, the other greenhouse housing. So if I import you, that import did. Uh, so edit. Is that not set to tell me too hot? Uh, temperature. 318. That is, uh, what's that? 40 degrees. Okay, well 35 is what it can handle for the plants, so let's change that back to uh, 313. That's 273. That was 35. 73? No? Try maths. Um, so that's 30 degrees. Is 303. So 308 is 35. Right. And 5.41, which is hopefully temperature high. Uh, uh, temperature high. Yep, cool. Right. Uh, if I export you into there. If it gets too hot again, it should tell me. Uh, cool. Well, that's well. It's not really solved it. It's just going to nag me if it happens, goes wrong again. Uh, yeah, you've lost your power. So I can improve that by the 242 degrees. Went up a lot in power in temperature. Now let's uh no, 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 you let's go outside and see if we can do something about that. Um I should grab some pipes and not that one. Um oh, I got some pipes. Oop, close my visor. Now, well, I think we can close. There is a, because uh, we do have a variation on the uh, passive vents, which I completely forgot we had. Well, the way it works, now the ventilation, as it comes through, as it changes through any passive junction, it will lose some of its um, uh, flow rate. So when it was flowing into here too quickly there um, by adding an extra junction in there so it passively transfers from one side to the other past the one-way valve then passively transfers from the pipe through the vent back into here and pressurizes the room so on the way out it has the passive transfer into the vent through the pipe and a passive transfer back out again so uh, if I reduce those two into a single vent it should uh, give me a little bit more. So I have that one there. I can pop that on there as my vent. So now instead of having two transfers to get in and out, I now only have the one. So that should lower my pressure in there a long way. Okay. Very much so changes my pressure and drops the temperature a long shot. So now, if now the pressure's dropped, I should be able to say uh, increase the rate at which we blow it in there. So that should give me more cooling. Uh, oh, it didn't give me much more pressure. Um. Why is everything reading the same? That one's not. Okay, so that is actually dumping a ton of gas out of here. 
That is a very fe efficient vent, that one there. Uh, cool. So has that ruined what I've set up up here now? Oh, shh. Yeah, look at the amount of steam I'm losing now. Up to 1.6%. The temperature coming out of here is 230 degrees. It's going up. Um, nothing exploded, did it? No. Okay, so maybe that vent is just a little bit too efficient. Um, so maybe there's not an in-between measure, so... Okay, I'll have to change the input. Um, yeah, let's just uh, maybe take that out of there for the time being. And I'll put you back onto there. Well, it was worth a try. So just the double-sided vents are much more efficient than putting two vents on like that, but uh, I want to keep a bit of pressure in there and it's just too efficient to do that. Uh, so... Yeah, maybe we will have to leave it like that. Uh, oh well. Worth a try. Uh, now... Let's... Go and see how this thing's doing. Uh, I've got 15 megapascals once all the carbon dioxide is pretty much gone. That's so certainly doing a lot better than what it was. It's still got a long way to go. Uh, and hopefully that'll be okay before my greenhouse gets too hot. Anyway, that's doing better now. Uh, right. Well, actually my, um, my, uh, vent, um, fountain, that's a thing, the drink, drink thingy. Actually that one should be working again now. Yeah, okay, so it was just the carbon dioxide that was giving them troubles. Yeah. I can have one of them. Right, now, uh, you've got some of that. I might... Uh, not you. Grab you. I might steal some of that stuff. Ah, uh, because I'm going to want to make some charcoal so we can have a look at this, this water thingy and see what that does. Uh, you go into there. I should probably wear that around and make myself stinky, shouldn't I? Done. Easy. So now I need this thing, which uh, it does require charcoal. I mean, I think the... Update said it can take coal, but that's apparently not true. And I'll need this thing as well. Now, and a hand drill. Right, now we'll put this over where we've got some water. Which we have over here. Um, it is... Ugh. It doesn't place real nice. Uh, but the water goes in at the back and out at the front. And that must be the pipe in the wrong spot there. That's okay, we can make it here. This will be a nice private shower room for us. I hope you're not shy or self-conscious. Uh, you? Not a wrench. Screwdriver. Right, that's all you are. So I shall need this pipe there. So I'll need some water pipes. 
And I'm on the other side as well. Now let's see what we can do with this water. So I do have to filter it. So if I filter it, a whole row of green lights. Wow! Apart from the orange yellow one. Uh, now, you out of there. I need a wrench. Pipes. And more pipes. And probably a drill. Well, it is. Right, so we should get dirty water out of this thing, and the purifier should, well, purify it. Now, yeah, let's just give it a go and see what happens. Uh, you should come out of there, and you should join in whoop, to there. Right, that. Cool, that's that's a shower. Um, now, am I stinky enough? Do some exercises. Ha, 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 run around, run around, am I stinky yet? Um, that'll do. Now, I've got to take my gear off. Um, I need to take my suit off as well. Is that enough? <laughs> I might have to take my clothes off. There we go. Everything off? No, oh, there we go. I got some poopy water. Uh, it's only a tiny bit. Uh, our point. Oh, we got five mole. Fifteen mole. Thirty mole. So I'm still stinky. Fifty-five mole. Um. Okay. So what's what's eighty eighty-four percent stinky water? How much is it? So seventy-five mole. 90 miles, so I'm st Am I clean yet? Hundred and twenty mile. So ten mile of clean water. Still ten mile of clean <laughs> clean water. Wow, I reek. Okay, so I just keep producing stinky water. That's it. Doesn't matter how long I stay in there by the looks of it. Okay, cool. Um, nice to know. Uh, I'll put my pants back on. There we go. Now, what can we do with this stuff? Now, apparently, well, I mean, we, we can filter it. Um, that's that's such a drill. Apparently we can boil it. I mean, if I filter it, it means I've got to keep putting charcoal in there, and that just sounds like hard work. Now, I can apparently boil it, and it goes back into clean steam, which you condense back into uh, clean water. But can I use it? So if I put down a planter, will the plants drink the stuff? Uh, so if I put in, grab a AR thing and stuff, uh, get rid of that. I want, where are you? Grab a pumpkin seed. Now, pumpkin, now you're in darkness. Well, that's probably not going to make you grow, is it? Uh, but... We have uh, the clean water is going down. Mm. 
Yeah, that's not just that's not just um, evaporation. That clean water is going down. The polluted water is probably not. So the plants are not going to purify it. They're not going to drink it. I don't suppose I can hook up a um, <laughs> hook up a drink bottle filler filler up or and um, see if I can drink it. That'd be gross. So once they've used all that, will it use? Probably not. Not going to use the polluted water, is it? That's not bothering it. I'm more worried about the darkness. So it's not going to kill the plants. Um, but it's not going to make them live either. Okay. So the plant's not going to eat it. I grew you. You should be loving my filth. Ugh. I better pull out those pumpkins now, hadn't I? And what? Ah. Now, ah, uh, we can do that. So, let's say we can boil it. We can you know, charcoal it now. If I charcoal it. Uh, Thanks, I'll take these. You can have the next lot. Right, now this stuff I have to run through the composter. Not the composter, the recycler. And turn it into biomass. Oh, it's night time again already. Uh, what temperature we get to? Oh, it's back to 25 degrees, we're good. Okay, that's catching up again. Problem solved. Uh, well, I do have carbon dioxide in my water again. Okay. How's the carbon dioxide getting in there? Well, I have got stuff in there. So, let that come out there. Now there's a little trick here. You sort of see there's a point zero zero one copper, zero zero one and zero zero two of solder. That'll give you problems. So what I'm going to do is clear all that out by pulling out my recycler and now what's in the recycler is absolutely nothing. So I should now uh, be able to take you out of there. If I just drop this straight into there I don't get biomass out of it. <laughs> yeah, you used to get biomass out of that. Was that where it came out of? I'm pretty sure it did. Uh, junction. Uh, you. Well, guess what? Oh, that stacked it. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Well, this. Ah, uh, right. Guess what you're doing now? You're making me some biomass. Awesome. Ah, uh, okay. Now I have got uh, a good carbon dioxide getting into my water. 119, what the hell? Eh. Right, it's no liquid CO2 in... Yes, there is liquid CO2 in there. But that doesn't have a way to get into my pipe. No liquid CO2 in there. No liquid CO2 in there. No liquid CO2 in... Oh, there it is. That's where it's coming from. My cooler is being too cool. 
Uh, but we're back to 0.056% of steam being lost. So pretty much collecting all the water again. Yeah, too. It just means I can't have a drink. It can't fill up me bottles or use me water filter at night. Whoa. Damn. Why does it, does it change so much? It's just the... um. It's just a temperature change at night. I think that's all it is. Uh, but anyway, so I'm going to have to wait. Wait for you to process all of that. Uh, we're getting our biomass. Yeah, I'll give that a bit of time. Let's see what our plants are doing. Filter low. What? I've got awesome filters. Ew, and it's low. Uh, radio, hello. You need to go out there. Uh, carbon dioxide. Every no. Oh. There we go. Let me one of them. Yep. Now our water. What was our water doing? Has still thriving. Have you drunk all the water yet? You have not. Yeah, that's going to take you ages. But now, if I forcibly evaporate that, it'll freeze the polluted water. So I can't do that. I'd have to heat it up. Uh, if I heat it up, I have, um, I don't have anything that can just drain off. I mean, I've got the, uh, I've got the regulator that's, um, somewhere. Uh, I've got these things. These will allow the gas to escape, but not the water. But that's only into a room, not into a pipe. I have the valves. I have a condensate. No, it's gone the wrong way. Expansion valve. That'll allow the liquid out. But I want to get the the liquid's polluted. I want to get the gas out of it. That's not going to do it. Okay, so the only way I have to do it is through the regulator. With a um, uh, is with a purge valve. But if I forcibly suck the gas out, that's going to cause the liquid to freeze. Okay, so I could. I could dump it into uh, the output from the water water maker. I, if I pump it into that one, that's about 2,000 degrees. I could pump it straight into there. That'll vaporize all the liquid, all the dirty water. It doesn't vaporize everything, though. There may be a little bit that comes back in again. Um, I'm back to the filter, aren't I? Um, there's got to be a way around this. Okay, well, let's grab the filter and have a look at the filter. Let's not... So now, can I put that in a loop? So if I just dump my dirty water back into here, back into here, it's not going to kill the plants. But I've just got to get a way to get it out again. So will this process the clean water or just the polluted water? Well, well, let's give it a go. 
Uh, so if I put you to there. Oh, I've got to build you again, don't I? Um, that's you and I think it's cables and the screwdriver. Right, so I need to get you power, which I can do from just behind there. Uh, roomy feng shui. Uh, you. And uh, pipes. I've got four pipes. That will not be enough. Uh, you. Oh, I need me charcoal. Uh, you can go there. It's my output. Uh, let's... You, I did hook that back up again. Right. Now... That should have produced my biomass unless... Why do I do have to put it into the furnace? Uh... Ooh. Do I want to do that? Uh, I've got a 2.5 of silver again. Well, the biomass should come out first. Maybe we'll be okay. Oh, fine. That'll go straight into the furnace. The biomass should come out first, and I should get a chunk of charcoal out of that. Yeah, all done. 2.5 silver. That might um, do weird things. Uh, but you. I don't can go into there. And you can all just switch off. I mean, if 0.5 silver in there is new, no, it is not. Yeah, well. Well, I should have a chunk of... Charcoal, I do! Okay, weird, but okay. And there's something else should be in there. A bit of iron. Nice. Just what I need. Um, now, got me charcoal. So we've got to make biomass. You've got to feed the biomass into the furnace to make charcoal. So that should go into there. I should... One mole. That is taking both the clean water and the polluted water. And the carbon dioxide too, but it looks like it takes everything out of there. And just converts that. Okay. Nice. So what is this thing doing now? It is... Well, that's all I got. Fifty watts, not bad. Yeah, that's the wrong one. It's pretty slow, but yeah, it's getting there. And I have eleven charcoal. I probably should have paid attention to how much I actually put in there, shouldn't I? Uh, don't worry, three liters back in there. So that has done that. Now, if I put it that into a loop, it should take out all of the polluted water. But as it's taking everything through there, the polluted water should get less and less. 
Uh, I mean, this will become less and less effective as the amount of polluted water goes down and I keep pumping the good water back into here. So it's probably going to be best if we just loop that back into the water supply and just have these two paired up. Um, oh, you have taken out all the clean water. Yeah, okay, so it needs water. It's not going to grow on dirty water. Well, it sucks to be you then, doesn't it, pumpkin? Uh, so, if I... I'm going to have to keep making charcoal. That's that's hard work. Um, anyway, let's clean up this, this stuff. I'll grab some more pipes and... Um, let's take off me... Stinky pants. Uh, and grab some pipes. Uh, no, wrong one. Which game have you been playing? Uh, now. So that's yeah. So yeah, there is no other way. So I gotta boil it. I can just chuck the liquid straight into. I can't chuck the liquid straight into that pipe. It'll explode the pipe. Um, and if it does come back into there, if you mix your dirty water into your main water supply, it's going to be very difficult to get it back out again. Because uh, this is not working like a filtration system where it can just cycle stuff around. Um, okay, so we're going to have to think about that one a bit. How am I going to boil the water? I mean, I've got plenty of heat, so getting the heat to boil the water is not a problem. A heat exchanger? If I run it through a heat exchanger, I get the water. So if I'm using a uh, purge valve, I just need to set the purge valve uh, at a pressure above freezing. So as I heat it up, the purge valve will take out all the extra gas until all the water's gone. Yeah? And then I won't have to mess around with no stinking charcoal. I can put you back into there. Um... So that is 11. Uh, still 11. So it's not using charcoal every time you switch it on. It must be using, calculating that in fractions. Uh, I remember the old um, coal generator. That used to just switch stuff on. Uh, every time you just switched it on, even for a second, it would use a chunk of coal. Until I changed it, and now it looks like this one's working on a similar thing there. So we have... Oh, not much left in there. That was half a litre, or thereabouts. And it will only take out the water, not the steam. A 10 left, that's used one coal. If I leave that running, will that use any coal? Stop making chugging noises, so I'm probably guessing not. Not processed anything. Still 10? We're good. Well, sorry pumpkin, but you're um you're gonna die. 
Bye bye. Uh, so. Still 10. Okay, right. So that's probably not using it. Uh, that's probably the... Yeah, I'll have to think about it. I want to boil. I don't want to be using charcoal. We've got to find a better way of doing that. That's something we're going to have to invent. We can do that. We can invent. Uh, right. So let's get this out of the... the the scenic shower. Shower with a view. Uh, there, we did it. Was it drill? Um, we needed the uh, wrench. Yeah, and the drill again. Right. Okay, so we know how that works. Um, it doesn't appear we can do anything with the polluted water. Ooh, will you run on polluted water? Probably not. I think the water is just, uh, it's just a different breed, so you can't do anything with it. Um, which is a little bit annoying, but anyway. Uh, come on. Uh. Okay, so you're all set up again. We're all good. You're all good. Um, what's your problem? But you're okay. Well, I don't know. You sh shouldn't be flashing. Uh, well, I don't know. Something's not going right there. That's the wrong one. Pipe. Yeah, there is CO2 in there. Now you're working with CO2 in there. Oh, I don't know. Ahaha. Uh, switch off that thing. I'm tripping, tripping balls. Ah, uh, now you can get out of my not my living room. It's a um, it's a greenhouse. Maybe you remember that cables there, will they? Or say will. Um, look at that. Uh, uh, you come here. Uh, now I've got to paint it somehow. The easy way to paint it is just to paint the entire network. There we go. All clean again. Now, uh... Just filled up with water then. Okay, sure, why not? Uh, you're still going. We are... Yeah. Now we are almost out of... Out of volatiles there. That might mean that our... 
pump is going continuously or not it is still clicking on and off very quickly uh, okay and you're still running full speed gotta run out sooner or later and anyway we'll see how water goes once that starts running out if once that gets down to zero if oh it did get down to zero oh it inflates back up again pretty quick so if that can still return us positive water it was 98 now it's up to 200 what the hell Uh, sure why not um, ah see that's cooling down now as it fills up with gas but anyway um, right so that's uh, uh, water experiments I can't really think of what else what we can do with that water with the dirty water um, Uh, we messed around with this thing here. We probably could min-max a little bit more with the pressure in there, but I think we're doing all right as it is. We're getting enough power. We're getting cooling down. It's working. It's still pretty hot in there. I could squeeze a little bit more power out of it. But then I'd have to do something really complex. So let's not do that. And you seem to be carrying on quite nicely. Well, I've got to run out of water eventually. Or well, once that stops producing water. Ah, uh, so we know that's still running full speed. That means the tank is under pressure up the top. The fuel gauge's fuel mixer is still running full speed, so it just seems to be working. Well, there you go. Uh, was there anything else we wanted to get going today? Ah, uh, so water cooler is working about as well as we're probably going to get it there. Maybe tweaks and stuff as long as along the way. Uh, now they are making new suits on Beta Branch, so I'm probably not going to mess around with the suit chip just yet. We'll wait for the for the next uh, iteration of the suits. Sterling engine we've got going. Uh water experiments we've done that clock with too many numbers on the minutes there is annoying we can fix that uh you now i think that was in this one yeah yeah import that you go back up there now we have Uh, this one here. So we're multiplying our minute by 0.6. So our minutes is a fraction there. It's between 1 and 0. We multiply by 0 0.6. So it goes between 0 0.6 and 0. But it keeps all the trailing points on there. So if we multiply it by 60, that is a number between 60 and 0, with decimal points onto that, so then I can truncate that. Uh, oops. Oh. A minute. Overwrite it. We truncate it. So it's now with no decimal places. And then I shall just have to div. Oh, God. <laughs> Divide. Uh. Divide minute by 100 to uh, return it back to the other side of the decimal points. So that should get rid of all those decimal places. Oink. There we go. Well, until it gets to a... It's, it's better than what it was. 
I just just get that happen every 10 minutes instead of just the um, lots of decimal points during the early part of the day. Oh, I'll call that an improvement. Still looks very much clocky. Uh, much more clocky. Ah, oh, look away. There we go. See, nothing wrong with that at all. Ah. Uh, um, but yeah, okay. So, I don't know if we've actually accomplished much today. Ah. Uh, right. We need a way to boil that water. Though I've run out of volatiles and I'm still making more water than I was when I had tons of volatiles. Yeah. Oh well, we'll, we'll um, it, it may still settle itself down. I may be running out of pressure in the tank up the top there, so we'll see what happens as we go. Uh, but it looks like we're still profiting water, so we're, we're doing all right. Now, as I say, we need a way to boil the water. I could feed it straight back into the output of that, but if all the water doesn't vaporise, it may get drawn back into over here. Then I'd have to filter out the entire uh, volume of all my water to get rid of it. Which, I mean, it's not terrible. Once I start running out of water, and I've only got dirty water yet left, then you know, filtering it's not an issue. But, um, yeah, I want a water boiler. I don't know how I'm going to do that. Um, I've managed to get my safety counter up to three. Hey, a new record. <laughs> um, but yeah, but that's, uh, well, that's a pretty unsuccessful day of building today, isn't it? But anyway, that's what we've got. So that's it for today. So until next time, happy building. See ya.